Hello, I'm Miriam Monastretur. I'm the author of Hooky, my first comic book. It's about two twin witches who lose the, their boss to magic school and get caught in the middle of a war between witches and non-magic people. Um, you can read it on Webtoon. Well, we found a nice quiet spot in the, the, the empty um, maid and butler cafe, although they're still you know, doing some fighting exercises uh, behind, so we can hear that. Uh, and and yeah, I'm sitting here with uh, Miriam Monastre too. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The reason why we're sitting here together is you are a guest here uh, at uh, Heroes Made in Asia, uh, and you are a manga artist. Yes. But you are from Spain. Yes. And I found that interesting because <laughs> I, I say manga is Japanese, so I would expect something from Japan, but that's not, it, it's not limited to Japan. Yeah, well, I mean, nowadays manga has um, a big influence around the world. Uh, so many people like me uh, grew up uh, watching anime and reading manga, so, so many artists have a very influenced manga style. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm a mangaka, I don't know. I, I have a, a, a manga style for sure. Yeah. But I will say I'm a comic artist or a webtoon artist. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But, but yes, yes, manga is like my, my main inspiration. Yeah. And mm, the main uh, kind of comics I read. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> how, how did you get interested in manga? Mm, yeah, uh, well, it was because uh, in my childhood, uh, since I was like very little in the national television, uh, there were a lot of anime, like a lot Sailor Moon, Sakura, uh, Dragon Ball, Rama, Inuyasha, uh, Conan, a, a lot of anime. So I grew up watching anime, and then at uh, ten years old, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, then uh, I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> it's like a a, a furry mate. Well, uh, let's continue. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I started reading comics uh, when I was like so little. But I first read comics uh, that my father and my mother had. My father uh, used to read uh, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. It was not very appropriate for my age. <laughs> so when I started to uh, buy my own comics, I started to read Clamp, Sakura. Uh, as, uh, uh, I got distracted. Sorry. Uh, I can uh, imagine everybody is. Uh, will we cut this or, yeah. or should I start from from any point? Uh, I, I'm afraid we're going to be interrupted more because they're doing yeah. these fighting exercises and apparently screaming well, is part of that. So. I start from the Conan the Barbarian thing. Yeah. Well, um, I, I watched I watched a lot of anime from the television. But the first comics I read was uh, were the ones that my father and mother had, and my father used to read Conan the Barbarian and that kind of things. So it was not very appropriate for me, uh, but I read it, uh, being a, a child. And then at 10 years old or so, I started to buy my own comics, okay. and my first comic was Sakura Carcaptor yeah. for, from Clamp. And well. That was the start. <laughs> yeah, okay. Also, from a young age, you bought your own comics. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's something we miss nowadays. You know, children are just, you know, on the phone all day. Mm -hmm. and they don't go out to comic stores anymore. Well, I, I think that's interesting because my, well, my main uh, comic, my book, <laughs> it's in a comic book format now, but I started to uh, draw it for a digital platform, actually. And it's a digital platform ma uh, um, made for mobile phones specifically. Yeah. It's webtoon. So yeah, so many kids start reading comics in the phone nowadays. Okay, that's that, that's, that's a good use of the phone. <laughs> yes, that's so interesting. How did you get up on the two? Uh, I mean, I was uh, studying in a school from Barcelona called uh, Escola Joso. It's a school uh, where you learn to draw comics, basically. Mm -hmm. It's an illustration and comic school, but. All the teachers are comic artists, famous, and people that work in the comic industry. Uh, and then I had a friend there, well, she's my best friend still, that she was uh, very into um, Korean dramas, 
a Korean music and webtoons. It's a Korean type of comic. Uh, basically, it's a well, it's a comic that you read in the phone, scrolling down. So it's so comfortable to, to read in the, the phone. Uh, then she told me that webtoon were doing a, a international contest, and I, I entered the contest while I was studying, and. I didn't win. Okay. <laughs> I didn't win. Okay. But uh, I, I was so in love with the characters, yeah. with Danny and Dorian, the little witches. Uh, uh, so I kept, I kept, um, I kept uh, publishing it online because the, the, the contest was uh, like online. You had to publish the the, the episodes there. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I keep I kept uh, publishing it, and they uh, hired me two months okay. later. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know that the webtoon is a very interesting platform. Mm. Uh, we have in, in the Netherlands we have a few uh, Dutch comic artists that also oh. are on webtoon. Oh. One is uh, Coco Ouderkerk. She has a comic called Exception, uh -huh. uh, which is also a young adult mm. comic about being different mm. in school. And, and those kind of things, which is really good. Uh, and there's one, the Shadow Prophet, uh -huh. which is more, um, yeah, I think more manga. manga. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's uh, also someone who uh, is interested in the Japanese culture and she's yeah. doing a webcomic of it. So. Yeah, because Webtoon is so influenced by manga. I mean, they accept all kind of styles there, yeah. but manga is like the main style in the platform, I think. Yeah. It is very popular. So it, in Spain, it's also very popular. I mean, when I started publishing in Webtoon, it wasn't because uh, it, uh, the international platform only had uh, one year of life <laughs> okay. at that time. But nowadays it is. And uh, two years ago, I think, I think they started the um, Hispanic platform, yeah. and the Webtoons are translated into Spanish, so it's more accessible oh. now to Spanish yeah. people. Um, and for artists from Spain that work for Webtoon. There's quite a few. I mean, uh, Lanny's Curls is one, um, Super Sonic Girl, two, um, and there's mo more people that are. Uh, uh, well, there, there, there's some yeah. uh, Spanish art authors okay. working there. Yeah. yeah. Mm, but I think that the main um, Spanish public is from Latin America still. Mm -hmm. But I know that they are going to open a, a what it's called like a, 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 the, the, the Euro European uh, <laughs> office of webtoon. Like yeah, there's one okay. in Korea, another in California, and they're gonna open now one in France. Ah, so okay. I hope like the yeah. European webtoon. Uh, okay, that's a, that's a good development. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you you um, you started on on webtoon when you started making comics. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, well, well, actually, I had I had drawn a few uh, designs yeah. like with my original characters, mm -hmm. but out out of published. I don't know if that's the correct word. I don't think so. But um, yes, but. Working as a career, yes, my first work was on Webtoon. Okay, and how long are you on Webtoon? Well, I started in uh, 2015 and Hooky uh, was made through four, four, and, uh, four and a half years. Okay. Yes, it has uh, like 222 episodes. Yes, 200? <laughs> yes, yes, I think so. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, that's a lot. So yeah, for four and a half years. Is it a finished story or is it ongoing? Uh, is it finished? Okay. But the book version, uh, it, it will be three books in the physical version. The first one is already published in English and Spanish and soon in Italy. And the second book is gonna be published in the States in September. So I'm oh. so excited oh, about that. That's, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, when, when you go from, from the webtoon platform to mm. a printed book, yeah. Do you have to do a lot of changes to because it's vertical <laughs> versus pages? So. Yes, a lot. Yeah. Yes, yes, because uh, there's some artists in webtoon that are so cle clever, mm -hmm. <laughs> so much uh, more clever than me. That um, 
they drilled the, the, the webtoon in page format and then they took the, the panels and placed it one under the other. But yeah. I didn't. I wanted to make the most of the mm, webtoon narrative, yeah. like the long vertical uh, panels and this kind of stuff. So yeah, when I had the opportunity to publish Cookie, uh, the, pub the American publisher uh, suggested that they could make like the layouts for the book. And they tried to do it, but it wasn't working because I, I think that a comic has three important parts, the script, the art style and the narrative. Yeah. And I, I as an author had to do the narrative, so yeah, I had to redo all the layouts okay. <laughs> myself. And it was a lot of work, but it was so interesting too. Um, I think I, I learned a lot about comic book narrative doing this. Yeah, hmm. okay. Why was the choice made to, to go for a printed book as well? Why? Yeah? Uh, they suggested, um, I mean, it was not my idea, it was the idea of the publisher, yeah. but I mean, I was so excited, of course, because uh, I'm a traditional reader too, I like to read on paper, yeah. so having your book published in a book, it, it, your comic published in a book, is like so amazing and it feels, I don't know, having something physical in your hands. I can imagine <laughs> that, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise you just show your phone to people, it's like, that's my comic yeah. and now you can show the book. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, yeah, I was so, so, so excited about okay. this. <laughs> I'm still excited about yeah. this. Uh, it, it, it's nice to have you here. Um, is this the first time in the Netherlands? No, it's the second time. I was in Amsterdam a few months ago, like, yeah, in October, I think, and I loved it. <laughs> uh, but it's the first time I'm going to a convention outside of Spain. So, uh, well, okay. no, uh, I went to a convention to Boston in uh, 2019, but yeah. then COVID came and it, it was impossible to, to, yeah. to go to another countries. So it's the first comic convention in Europe, yeah. <laughs> outside of Spain, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and what do you think so far? I loved it. Yeah. I mean, when when we entered the convention, me and my friends, my my colleagues from Barcelona, um, we all were so amazed. Like, it looks so fancy. <laughs> There's a lot of things here. Yeah. I, yeah. This is a my cafe, for example. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love this convention. Okay. That's, that's nice really, to hear. <laughs> really, really, really. Yeah. Um, your, your story is done, all oh, the books are coming, um, yes. but I don't imagine that you say, okay, that's it, oh. I'm finished, are you working on something new? I'm working, yes, uh, right now I'm working on three, three things. The third cookie book that I have to lay out and all this, a uh, comic for Spain, and a new webtoon. So I'm working on it. Okay. Yes, and um, it's a, I can say, like a lot of this, but it's a fantasy webtoon. Yeah. It's for young adult. Sorry. And it will start publishing, I think, on summer. Yeah, and I'm so so excited about knowing a new story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, it was nice to have a chat with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy so your nice. stay here at the Made in Asia and, and good luck with uh, the new comics. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>